Hi guys, my name is Katrina and today I'm going to be doing the coffee tag. This was created by Bangity Bang, um, or Ben. If I remember, I will link his video down below, um, which you should definitely check out. And I know everyone kind of did this tag a long time ago, but I just love it. I wasn't really around doing videos, I think, back then, or not as regularly as I am now. Still pretty bad schedule. Also, sorry if these questions aren't word for word. I wrote them down as he was talking in the video. But question one, or black coffee, um, a book that's hard to get into but has a huge fan base. For this, I chose Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Oh. Anyway, um, this was really hard to get into for me. It took me too dry. But I absolutely love this book now. I've reread it. It's oh, William Harrendale. William Harrendale. Yes. It's amazing. I love this book. Cassandra Clare, in case you didn't know. Peppermint Mocha, a book that gets more popular in the winter. For this, I chose really any John Green book. This is the one I have, which is Paper Town. I'm almost done with it. Um, but. For Christmas, a lot of my friends got John Green books, or like even people in general, got a lot of John Green books, and so yeah, I guess they were pretty popular at that time, just reading John Green. I found weird, but okay. I mean, he does have that one Christmas, like, book with two other authors, Maureen Johnson, and I, I forget the other one. Sorry. Um, I'm definitely picking it up this winter, so yeah. John Green. Hot cocoa or hot chocolate. What's your favorite childhood book? For this, I chose um, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom. I read this when I was 10. It's been so long. I, mean, I kind of want to reread it, but I, I loved this book. Um, it's, it's so small. I forgot. I thought this was like a big book back in the day. This, well, actually, Percy Jackson, those books was huge <laughs> but yeah I loved this book <laughs> so I'm just having like a little moment good book if you are a child and if you're not good read not too long to get there let's see here it's 149 yeah double shot espresso a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to end. For this, I chose The Iron Child by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. I almost said Cassandra Black. Gonna just mix their names. <laughs> but anyway, if you have not read this yet, you need to read this right after watching this video. Yeah. Um, anyway, it is about a boy named Colin Hunt who goes to, he has to go to this like test to see if he's magical enough or good enough to make it into the school for um magical people they call it ma mages one day i'll learn how to say the words in here too um but he tries to fail the test he, he fails epically like so bad he gets points taken off but still ends up at the school um this one is Colum. I thought this one would be, but no, that's Aaron. And if you read the book, you'll find out why the main character isn't in this spot. And then that's Tamara. I don't know, her name's spelled T A M A R A. Tamara? I don't know how to say it. Again, one day. One day. No. Uh, second book comes out in September. This is a five book series, I believe. Very excited to get the second book because this took me about three days to get through. I, I was doing bad. I was reading 100 pages a day. But yeah, I loved this book. I, I wish it had a bigger fan base, honestly. It's just so good. I think it will get like a bigger and bigger fan base as time goes on. It's a middle school book. It did not feel like a middle school book. Like thinking of Percy Jackson compared to this. This is more high school. Definitely more high school. Lot, lots more death and blood, which I wanted in a book. And I got like Starbucks, a book you see everywhere. 
for this. <laughs> I chose City of Bone by Cassandra Clare. I'm seeing this book everywhere recently because of the TV show. So now everyone's reading it or everyone's talking about the TV show and the whole Mortal Instruments fan base thing. It's just everywhere I look. This Am I him? No. But it's seriously everywhere I go I feel like I see someone reading this and I've gotten a few people to start reading the series but that I mean two but that's okay because I still have two people to talk to um yeah seriously it's it's everywhere and then like the cast is always posting pictures so you can kind of see it like scenes from the book yeah you you all know what this book is if you don't there's something wrong with you hipster coffee shop um for this or shout out to an indie author i'm not sure if this person is i don't know what an indie author is but i just like to shout out this book and everything and that is a time for dancing duology by davida willis heron still don't know how to say her full name amazing amazing books if you are a dancer if you like stories about cancer Wow, well, that rhyming. Um, or friendship and just loss and amazingness. This is your book. Better than the Fault in Our Stars. Yeah, I, I just said better than the Fault in Our Stars. Love these books so much. I don't own the first one. My bad. I don't own the Fault in Our Stars either, though, so. Yeah. Oops. Oops. I accidentally got decaf. A book you were expecting more from. For this, I chose Matched by Ali Kondai? Kondai? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say a lot of people's last names apparently. Um, my friend absolutely loved this book. Like, she loved all three of them, the whole series. There's a sticker. Um, sorry. All three of them. And this one was really hard for me to get through. It was just a lot of information at once, which I, my mind cannot process. Not one of those people. I need little chunks every now and then. Not like, bam, here's everything in like a billion chapters. This book confused me. I'm still confused. And I've thought about this book. Just, I want to give it a reread now though, because that was a few years ago. It's been three years. I just can't get myself to do it. We'll see. Maybe one day. I don't know. What was the main character's name? Sorry, I'm doing this now. What is her name? Oh, yeah. Cassia. Perfect blend. A book of both bitter and sweet, but overall satisfying. For this, I chose Mockingjay by Susan Collins. This book was very bitter. Kind of sweet here and there. It's got some humor in it. All of these books do. But overall, I was so satisfied with the ending of this book. I loved the epilogue. And yeah, it was definitely a nice like way to finish the whole trilogy. The whole. I know people were disappointed in the end, but I don't think I'll ever be. I loved Mockingjay. And I just, the trilogy, it so good. I don't care what anyone else has to say. This is probably my favorite epilogue. Mostly because most, auth most authors don't do epilogues. Clockwork Princess just destroyed me. That epilogue, that's... dies. Um, yeah, Rick Riordan doesn't do epilogues in his books. Yeah, I think this is the only book series or uh, trilogy I really, or series, I really had an epilogue. And then I guess City of Heavenly Fire did, but it wasn't like years later, it was like six months later. And then we're getting Shadowhunter Academy, so. And then another trilogy after the Mortal Instruments, so yeah. This would be it. It's so pretty though, this book is such a... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish that that video this video here um you can follow me on the things below hopefully i remember to put bangity bang video down below too so you can go watch that go read the iron trial please 
and I'll see you guys later. Bye.